Good morning guys. I woke up 20 minutes earlier or about 20 minutes earlier this morning. It's the same thing that I did yesterday so I'm slowly whittling down the time that I wake up in the morning and it's amazing. It feels so great to have extra time to just do what I want to do before I go to work. So I'm going to continue to do that. But look at this. It's a beautiful day today. Look at the blue skies, no clouds. It's freaking beautiful. Wish I could swim. <laughs> That's not going to happen because I've got to go to work. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's going to be 27 degrees today. So very, very nice temperature. Anyway, I woke up to the news that Anderson Silva tested positive for a type of anabolic steroid. Now, Anderson Silva is the guy who I watched fight over the weekend, and he's considered by some the greatest of all time pound for pound UFC fighter, or sorry, MMA fighter. But yeah, he tested po positive for anabolic steroids, and that kind of puts a huge stain on his career and all his accomplishments. I fucking hate anabolic steroids. Um, if you take them and you're in a sport, you're a cheat and I think you're not that great of a person because you're lying and cheating to try and beat your opponents and you're not getting there purely on hard work. That's not to say that you don't need to work hard when you're on steroids, yeah you still need to work hard but it is an advantage that the other athletes or most of the other athletes aren't taking. Um, and they're not using that to try and beat everyone else. And I just feel like it's very dishonest and it's the mark of a person who doesn't really believe in themselves and a person who shouldn't be in sport because if you need that advantage, if you need to illegally take that advantage, you are an idiot and you should not be in the sport. Um, so that's not good. Nick Diaz tested positive, his opponent tested positive for marijuana. Um, yes, it's a drug, but it's not a performance enhancing drug. If anything, it would um, make his performance not as good because he would be a lot more slow and just, I don't know, a lot more sluggish, but it's still bad that he tested positive for a drug when he's an athlete. I don't know. Actually, maybe I don't think it's that bad. It's not really that bad. It's not anabolic steroids, that's for sure. So I'm pretty disappointed in Anderson Silva, and I know a lot of his fans are. Great thing for me is I'm not really that big of a fan of him, and I never have been. Um, I'm more of a fan of Chris Weidman, who took his title from him by knocking him out, and then in the rematch, Anderson Silva snapped his leg on Chris Weidman after he checked his kick, after Chris checked his kick. So yeah, I've never been a huge fan of Anderson, um, even though he's considered such a great guy in the sport and the greatest of all time and all this kind of stuff so I'm not too devastated by the news but it does make the sport look bad and I'm pretty fucking angry at him to be honest if it was one of my favorite fighters if it was Chris Weidman or Ronda Rousey then I would be heartbroken and very devastated there's been a lot of positive drug tests in the UFC John Jones tested positive for cocaine I think it was late last year or early this year um, maybe early this year yeah, it just doesn't look good for the sport, even if it's recreational drugs, um, but it's especially bad if it's performance enhancing drugs like anabolic steroids. So it's not something I like to see, but I'm going to keep watching the sport and hope that things get better and hope that testing gets better so people can't try to get around these things and they don't even bother taking them because there's no chance that they will not get caught. So that kind of sucks. Bad news for UFC, but I still love it. I'm still a huge fan and Anderson Silva, I don't know. I think this is the end of his career. But yeah, um, hopefully things get better for the UFC in terms of drug testing and stuff like that. Anyway, um, I've got plenty of time to myself this morning. I get to relax for like, I think I was ready with about an hour and 40 minutes where I just get to relax before work. So it's a great feeling and I definitely want to continue this. I'm excited to go to work today and see what kind of progress I can make, whether or not I can make more sales than yesterday. Even if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I'm just excited to be going out and doing something and challenging myself. It's an amazing feeling. Once again, I didn't vlog when I was at work. It was a great day though. It was day four and it went well. I didn't get as many sales as I got yesterday, but... I think I got seven yesterday and then five today, but I was only $25 off what I made yesterday in sales. So that's not too bad. Um, and especially because I went really well before my break, I got two sales. And then after my break, very quickly after I got the other three sales, then I know where I went wrong. There's this woman in my training group who speaks very loudly on the phone. And usually it does distract me. 
But today, for some reason, it was distracting me even more and all I could hear was her voice while I was trying to talk to people on the phone. So I was kind of like trying to focus, but I couldn't. Um, and I don't know, I guess I could feel my phone manner not being as good because I was just so irritated by hearing this woman's voice. I could hear everything she was saying and I could barely hear myself, if that makes sense. I couldn't even hear the woman that sits next to me because she's pretty quiet when she talks. But I could hear this woman that doesn't even sit next to me. Anyway, yeah, so it distracted me. I'm going to have to try and not let that affect me tomorrow because she's still going to be there. It's our last day of training in the training room tomorrow and then we are on the floor on Monday with everybody else but we're still doing a week of training on the floor. So I've just, yeah, got to try not to let her voice distract me tomorrow, try to go into it with a good attitude and um, either way it was a good day of sales. I'm meeting my targets so far, I'm doing pretty well so it's exciting and hopefully I can get past the distraction tomorrow. I explained the situation to my trainer and he was fine with it. I told him that's why I didn't make a sale for about the last hour of work. Um, and I didn't point the finger at the woman. I was just asking him a general question of how he thinks I should handle the distraction if someone is talking loud or, you know, things like that. And he knew who I was talking about because when he finished giving me some advice, he's like, yeah, she talks particularly loud. And I was like, yeah, um, that's kind of my problem. Um, so he knows that that's the reason why I didn't sell as much towards the end of today. But yeah, like I said, just got to go in with a fresh attitude tomorrow and try to overcome it. We'll see what happens. But either way, the job's going really well, the training's going well, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Tomorrow's Friday, so that's great. I'm going to have the weekend to myself after that. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm just watching some YouTube videos and... Once again, I'm just going to relax and stuff before bed. I've got to edit yesterday's vlog and upload it, but that shouldn't take too long. I'm in a happy mood. Life's going really well right now, and I'm just going to relax and enjoy myself. Ah, <sighs> so happy right now. It's quite late. I should probably get some sleep. I need to wake up early tomorrow because I have to call out ISP because my mum wants me to try and get a better plan for us or get money taken off our plan. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to be on the phones before I even get to work. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But I should wake up at about 9 o'clock, hopefully. Um, yeah, I need to. So I'm going to have to force myself to do it. It's already about 3 in the morning now. So I'm only going to get probably 5 hours of sleep once I actually fall asleep. But I can function pretty well off a little sleep. And it's Friday, so my last day of work for the week um, and then I get the weekend off so it doesn't matter if I'm a little bit tired tomorrow anyway I'm excited for work tomorrow still nervous um, every day I go in I'm still nervous but it's getting better every day so yeah it's just gonna continue to get better I hope anyway I'm going to sleep because I'm tired so thank you guys for watching hope you're doing well take care and I'll see you tomorrow bye